da 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 circus da 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 afro circus afro circus afro polka dot polka dot polka dot afro ah this episode <laughs> oh so many bad memories came up during this thing uh like for example that circus afro thing i just referenced is a very horrible memory i forgot that thing was even a meme until i started researching this episode <laughs> It was actually a meme for a while, and the bad memories come from my brother, who had, like, the... It was, like, the remix of the Circus Afro and I Like to Move It, Move It, or whatever from the movie. I don't know if it was officially released, but he had it somehow. And he just played it on repeat on his iPod whenever we would go somewhere in the car. And no one ever said anything about it. It was the most annoying thing ever, and no one ever said anything about it. I was like, dude, stop it, or put in headphones. And he's like, dude, I don't have headphones. And I was like, dude, then stop playing the song. And he's like, dude, you can't tell me what to do. And whew, it was not a fun time. <laughs> but anyways, as for Perry the Platypus, I find Phineas and Ferb to be very good. Like, initially I got tired of the formulaic, um, whole deal with the show, like, uh, Phineas and Ferb build a thing. Candace try to, tries to bust them. It always vanishes before she can bust them, because uh, Doofenshmirtz and Perry did something to make it happen. <laughs> so, it was always that kind of routine. And it made me lose interest in the show kind of early on. Like, I thought it was good, but I was just tired of it. It didn't seem like something I could binge watch, but... Going back to watch it for research, it was actually kind of fun. I liked it a lot, actually. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'd probably rewatch it again. I'm glad I went all the way through instead of just stopping after season one again. You just gotta make it through that first season, and then things get way more interesting. <laughs> more character development, and... They go more places, do more interesting things. Uh, but for Penguins of Madagascar, sadly, it didn't have that same thing. It was such a drag. Such a drag. As the problem with most CGI. As the problem with most CGI, um, Nickelodeon shows. And pretty much any CG, uh, CGI TV show that isn't Jimmy Neutron. Like, I'm super convinced that Jimmy Neutron is, like, the only good-looking CGI TV show. <laughs> like, I see other TV shows, but they look not good. Then Jimmy Neutron's like, oh, hey, this is interesting. Because most of them have just, like, plastic-looking textures, and they move so stiff. But Jimmy Neutron's motions and animations are kind of fluid. And it actually kind of looked impressive for the time. Come on, when are we going to get more Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we got Planet Sheen, but that, again, that followed the same stiff, plastic-looking CGI. TV-quality CGI. Like, look at this on the screen. He's just, like, jerking around. He's not, like, gliding. Okay, this is the movie, not the TV show, so he's moving normally, but... When they showed the TV show here, he's just, like, darting from position to position. No keyframes or fluid movements, just... It's very jarring and uncomfortable to look at. It just looks gross. <clears throat> oh, something important I should say. I probably should have said this at the beginning, but... Um, Gur versus uh, Clank may take a while to come out. So if you see anyone asking about it, be sure to tell them... Be sure to refer them to this episode commentary and tell them why. The reason why is because I'm going to take some time to record some Let's Play sessions and all that, because uh, my PlayStation 4 capture card finally came in. Well, it's not a PlayStation 4 capture card. It's a capture card that works with the PlayStation 4. But I'm going to be doing some Let's Plays and stuff with that. So, Gur vs. Clink may take a while as I record a bulk of a bunch of sessions that can go out. And plus, I want to take a break anyways, because I've gone like nine episodes doing them every single week. Some even twice a week. So I've just been like powering through the series and I'm like, okay, I need just a tiny little break. I like blasted through a ton of episodes now. I just need to relax and think about what mashups I want to do in the future. Because for the past couple of episodes, like after Aang versus Jack, I believe, I was like, okay, what am I going to do next? While I was still developing it, I was tr still trying to do which, decide which fight which to do next. Because, I mean, I do have a bunch of thumbnails, but lots of them require heavy, hefty research. So I'm like, uh. Which one would be easiest to research, or which one would be, um, 
Which one do I have the most research done for already? So I just need to take some time to uh, think of more fights, do more research, and develop more ideas. And yeah, I just need more time, basically. And the reception for this episode was surprisingly good, too. Like, I expected it to be horrible because it was the most wanted episode so far in my versus debating career. And all the people who wanted it wanted Perry to win, and he didn't, and the reception was still positive, so I'm very surprised and very happy to see that people liked it, despite the character they wanted um, ended up losing. It just shows how much of a good sport my fans are. Thank you guys for liking it so much. And this got like 10 views, in, or 20 views in the first minute, 50 views in the first 5 minutes, 100 views before it hit 10 minutes. It just went, it was crazy. People wanted it so bad, and I think this is the episode to reach a thousand views the quickest, like out of fictional fights and universes combined. So, that's really, really cool. Perry versus Skipper, such an odd fight. I mean, it makes sense, but it's not one that you typically think of when doing versus debates. Like, when versus debates come up, you think Goku versus Superman, uh, Mega Man versus Samus, all these crazy things. But Perry vs. Skipper is not on the top of many people's lists, but for some reason when it comes to my show, it was. I guess it's because I mostly specialize in American cartoons, I guess. Like, I've had Zim, um, I've had Poe, Aang, you know, all these Steven Universe characters. I've had all these American USA cartoon type stuff because, I mean, anime is so long and manga hurts my eyes and I can't read comics and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not a comic book guy, not a manga guy, I'd rather watch the adaptations, but watching them takes a lot longer than reading them, so as a result, um, less anime characters show up, and uh, cartoon, American cartoons tend to be a lot shorter than anime, like maybe 52 to 120 11 minute long episodes, as opposed to 400 or 522 minute long episodes. So yeah, that's how... Uh, cartoons get featured more than comic book characters or anime characters, but I'm going to be trying to implement more. Like I have an upcoming manga or anime fight in the future that people are going to love, hopefully, but I'm not going to reveal anything now. <clears throat> so see y'all, this is all I have to say for this. Thank you all for enjoying this episode so much, despite it not ending the way that most of you wanted, and bye bye